Pisces, how you doing? I just got a notification just as I started to record, which is typical. <laughs> just I'm starting to record, record, some kind of like picking up a record or record breaking or breaking, breaking the bank. I think that you're pretty much winning. I think that you've, there's a broker or something to do with like being, like uh, I hope it's not broke, but like uh, stock markets and broking or, or uh, picking, say, saying something to do with broke. Okay, um, but through your channeled messages that I didn't actually say uh, during your monthly is that you picked up tree and money tree. And now I think it was on the extended that I was explaining that my girlfriend at the time does these things called ad words. And as I'm channeling messages for people, they actually get channeled and she figures out the fact that it's just made her crossword and that's the word that she was looking for. So it's some kind of weird dynamic uh intergalactic psychic kind of uh fitting in some kind of thing but you had uh what was it tree and money tree uh because it was money and tree and then it related to aquarius as well and if you are a cross watcher aquarius watching yours had some kind of like maybe a deceased person okay but through that, I was picking up a tree, but also uh, flowers and planting flowers near a tree. Or there's loads of stuff to do with flowers and trees. Okay, but I know that this is a Pisces reading, but there's some kind of like cross comparison between Aquarius and Pisces at the moment. Okay, and it is a lot to do with like uh, like farewell feather weather friend. I'm also hearing, which was a song by Queens of the Stone Age. It was something to do with illness. Uh, like uh, bedside manner, some kind of like farewell, feather friend, and farewell. So there was some kind of like, yeah, farewell, like giving some kind of like farewell. I'm also hearing a will now that there was something to do with money and that someone had an inheritance to do with a will, or it was fair weather friend that you let go of someone, and that can be physically for somebody. Okay, but it can also be um, fair weather, like you've someone's like ill, because that's like bedside manner and looking after someone that's like ill or something, something to do with that. But some of you, that is um, a will. Okay, there's two different kind of like comparisons. Obviously, people are not all going to be getting wills. Okay, <laughs> well, I hope not. Um, but do you know what I'm saying, Pisces? So uh, there are some strange messages there for you at the start. So what we're going to look into now is I'm going to do things a slightly different. I'm going to start your weekly. We're going to leave the moment before alone for a little while. Okay. I'm also picking up the leave me alone for a little while or something like being left alone or someone just wants some alone time. Okay. Um, or home alone. Something to do with that. Uh, but we're going to look into your uh, two-week reading, which is the 1st until the 15th. And then on the other side, if you are interested, which is literally just $5 now, not 16 If you're new to the channel or didn't see your last reading, it's gone right down to $5 now. So you get all of the readings now just for one tier. But we're, uh, on the other side, we're going to look into uh, thoughts and feelings from your partner. And then we'll look into what's going on in their life. Okay, So if you are interested in a new person, because you had a lot of children. So also you had like a lot of... Uh, new clients or new person of love interest because there were so many pages and there were so many nights that were in that reading for you that I just forgot to say that this really could be a new person that a lot of you have just started to speak to okay um, so we look into thoughts and feelings and what's going on in their life and how that will uh, represent you okay so that gives you more perspective of what's happening with them and then you can cross comparison things, okay? So we'll look into all that kind of stuff on the other side. But at the moment, we're going to start to look into uh, from the 1st until the 15th of March. Happy birthday, Pisces. It is actually mine on uh, the 8th of March. Uh, but let's see. Um, but uh, obviously, a lot of people would have been February, right? Uh, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the 1st until the 15th. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the 1st until the 15th. Also, if my phone alarm goes off, I'm going to have to pause it and then come back because I've got stuff in the oven. <laughs> I'm also picking up a bun in the oven. Something to do with the bun. No, that wasn't the alarm. <laughs> uh, the bun in the oven. Something to do with, like, cooking as well. Cooking. Uh, Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Show me Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus from the 1st to the 15th of March, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so I have got the deck upside down. So you start off with Leo energy, okay? Uh, but Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, 
Uh, Gemini would also be involved. Virgo, okay, it could be, um, uh, obviously it's an eight, so it could be a Leo with Virgo in their chart or possible Aries. But um, wandering, there's a lot of like, well, wandering. There's a lot of like chasing and running, but there could also be like leaving. This is cleaning up one's act of where you would live in order to go out on a search for something. So if you are indicative with the Leo, they're searching for you but they're also like going on a search for something okay so there could be moving if you can remember the other deck that i had but there's something to do with like moving moving on or moving away okay it doesn't mean a breakup it just means like moving away <clears throat> okay uh but that would come from a leo energy but it would be going to search for my dream place place it could be a house or something but a dream like i'm going to search for my dream i'm going to go on search for my dreams Someone is also dreaming quite a lot, like uh, lost, feeling like like alone. Because I did pick up alone time. And this is like, well, we need some alone time, so where are you going to go? Because it feels like home from home and home alone. Okay, so there's a lot of that. But I don't think that's specifically coming from you, Pisces. I think that this woman here, man or female, is you that is looking at something. Okay, while well, the other person is going their separate way. So it feels like, well, we've gone our separate ways, fair weather friend, okay, so it could be somebody, but it doesn't mean a breakup, but generally fair weather, I mean, fair, farewell, say my fairly wells, farewell. Pisces, from the 1st until the 15th. Purse. I heard Percy as well, purse, the name Percy or my purse? Well, I'm going to have to look after my purse and my money, <laughs> let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the 1st until the 15th of March. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the 1st to the 15th of March. The cards are not very active. There's some, like, active, like, uh, I'm well, I'm feeling very active because there's someone going for a walk or a run. It feels like, well, I'm feeling very active at the moment, but there's, like, a, well, I feel inactive, like, inaction. Okay, missing, missing. Someone feels missing as if, like, well, I'm just missing at the moment. Someone of you physically, like, have, like, like a, a family dynamic with children or something, and it's like someone has gone missing because it feels like someone has gone missing. It's like, oh, I can't find you. I can't find you. Oh, you've gone missing. So I think that some of you have, like, defaced maybe someone. Okay, you're not defaced, but you've walked off, and it's kind of like... Like, someone in someone's family, it feels like they're just missing. Like, well, I'm just missing in action. I'm missing out. You're missing out. Something to do with, like, you're missing out. But two, again, so, well, okay, well, I'll think about it then. So, at the moment, we're together, okay? But we have a decision to make about whether you want to move in with me or whether I'm going to go my separate way. You can still be together with a person, but there's a lot of decisions that need to be made about which way someone's going to go. Because it's a bit like, well, walk this way. Come this way with me. And it's like, well, okay, well, I'll think about it. Okay, so this is a dating scenario, okay, as well for a lot of you. So if it is a new person, it's like, well, you don't live with me at the moment. So when can we plan in order to arrange uh, a, a, an arrangement? I'm picking up also an arranged marriage. An arranged marriage, Pisces, something rising in Venus from the 1st until the 15th. Pisces, because it's because it, for for a lot of you, this is if you're going through a dynamic, okay, and that it's you know, well, if you're not going to talk to me, then I'm going to walk off, because it feels like, well, I've just I haven't got time to talk. I just got stuff to do. I'm so busy that I'm just going to walk off because I can't get confused by a two. I can't get confused where you're all of a sudden one that make me think. It's like I don't like to think. I just like to go with the flow. You know, Pisces, you know, like a fish bowl, you like an aquarium. So it could be an Aquarius as well. So I'm saying Aquarius here. Um, and I said, well, I don't like to be caught in a fish bowl or caught. I don't like to be caught up. So if you're going to catch me up, it's like catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. There's a journey as well, a spiritual journey that someone's on that they're going to have to go and witness something about being independent. But uh, I don't think it's a game. I just think that it's more of like, well, you know, I haven't got time to get caught up. I've got so many things to do. And that if you're going to keep me in this too, which is like, well, I just need you to make this decision on something. And it's like, oh, hold on a minute. I haven't got time to think about making a decision. I'll just go with the flow. Okay. And when I go with the flow, I feel more relaxed. So at the moment, I'm actually needing some space and I like to breathing space. So, okay. 
So it's like, well, just give me some breathing space. Give me some time to think. Once I gain my bearings and I start to realise where I, what I want to do for myself, I will make that decision. But nobody needs to force me to make a decision. I will kind of like come to that conclusion by myself. Okay. Pricing summarising Venus um, from the first until the fifteenth of March. Pricing summarising Venus. The first to the fifteenth of March, Pisces. Pisces, some rising Venus from the first to the fifteenth of March. Pisces. Pisces. So there you go again. You see, this is a new person that a lot of you have just met. There's a lot of children around you, or there's a lot of uh, plans, but this is still not talking to someone. So, you you know, you can obviously be the child of a parent, and a lot of you, if you're not really wanting to talk to children, or children are not wanting to talk to you, you know, there's that there too. Too, I'm hearing that's that. There's well, that's that there too. That's that there too. That doesn't make any sense, Pisces. That's that then. Well, that's that then. That's that there too. They're there too. Well, they're there too. Some of you, this is like a newborn child that's there also. Okay, and it's like, yeah, well, they're there too. This parent is there too. So, you know, we're all living together to learn to coexist, but some of us are not speaking. We're not on full speaking terms. We're actually trying to avoid people that, that keep trying to talk to us when, you know, Pisces, you know, when we go into that state of mind where, you know, we like time to think and that you need that time to yourself, Okay, a lot of loan time, and it feels like, well, it's home time, because they're saying something to do with home time, which is like school time. It's like, well, it's home time, and it's like, I'm home. Hi, honey, I'm home. It feels like the Stepford wife type sort of thing of like common, common, because I'm picking up common people, which was pulp, right? But also common ground, like, well, we can find a common ground. There goes the buzzer, but we can find a common ground. Stop it, Siri, I've had enough. <laughs> frighten you Pisces <laughs> but uh, we can find a common ground but you really need to make up your mind what you're going to do because it feels like someone's just hanging around this is like well I'm just hanging around I'm just hanging around waiting for this offer to be given to me so if it's like well okay well we're learning to coexist and we're here with one another but at the moment I'm waiting for an offer to be given to me so this could be you or your partner they could be looking for an offer for some of this is an offer on an apartment share or, or a house because you will obviously be going on search or something so you know, you wouldn't just be out there like, oh, I'm just going to go for a trip to the moon, <laughs> right? So you've got to go somewhere. So I think that a lot of this is to do with like, well, I'm waiting for an offer to do with like work uh, or I'm waiting for an offer to do with a house or a physical move, okay? Until then, we're having to learn to coexist and actually be with one another. Some of you, this is just a new person that you've just met and you're actually like wandering and in this dreaming state of like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. It's like, ah, what are you up to? And it's like, well, I'm just making this plan at the moment. <laughs> I'm making this plan at the moment. One more card, then I'm going to have to go and turn off the oven. <laughs> Let's see. Aries. So there's Aries right in the middle with you. There's Aries right in the middle of it. Okay, so there's a lot of decisions. This is like, well, I'm just going to have to stand up and take lead then. Okay, so I will, I will tell you what to do. It's like, well, if you're going to ask for my advice, then trust me, I will give you it. <laughs> Anybody know an Aries? Okay, but it doesn't matter. It can be in your Jupiter. Me, I have Aries in Jupiter, which is your masculine side, right? So it depends where that is also. But still their general readings. But I will, I'll, well, I'll tell you. It's like, well, I've got stuff to do. I've got business to run and I've got things to do of my own. Okay, so I don't need guidance from you. I can guide myself. For a lot of you, you're having someone is butting with heads with a family member that has Aries in their chart. OK, there can be like a lot of Aries because there's a lot of Aries here because it's the masculine card. So there's a lot of decisions that need to be made around work. There are contracts that could well be coming up for you in order to sign and make sure that everything that is like uh, all my ducks are in a row. I've got to make sure there's a lot of like analyzing situations but there's still a lot of appointments these are appointments this could be a new client or a new person that you've just met that could be an aries 
Okay, if it's not a person, it can be a person, but they can be a client. That's something to do with earth sign, fire sign. Okay, but this is my clientele. Okay, so it's like show and tell because this is a show and tell. It's like, will you show me and I'll tell you. So there's a lot to do with like clients, clients coming up for you to uh because this is a gift. Someone might be gifting you some money or gifting you a job or saying, okay, well, there's going to be more workload. So it's quite heavy at the moment. So I need to find someone in order to help me. Okay, so you could have a PA, a personal assistant or something like that. Secretary or that kind of thing is also coming up. Because uh, you could be like a secretary or work for children or public, but it's going to occur, okay, well, I need some help, so there you go, I'm going to hand that to you and give you this. So a lot of that is like a client as well, like a client. I'm also picking up the name Clive or Reliant. Let's make a Reliance then, okay, so let's make a deal. There's something to do with, okay, well, let's make a deal, okay, and I'm picking up that someone is in your energy that's very reliable for something, and it's like, well, I'll make a deal with you then, okay, we can set up these dates and... For, for some of you, this is like a physical date-by-date date scenario of love life. If it isn't, then they're plans of or, of an organisation that you've organised and you're setting it up for uh, dates of terms and conditions of when you can have these clients. Okay? Uh, if not, for some of you, this is where someone has just become an auntie or a grandmother. Okay? Because this can be a grandmother. And, okay, and it's like, okay, well, I can look after the children. Okay? So there is someone that's very reliable around you that is like, okay, well, I'll look after the kids. Or this could be an Aries that's cross-watching that has Pisces in their chart. You have children and you are, well, very reliable for your children, okay? Because it's relying on each other. These two people here, they're relying on each other. So they have this, like, uh, understanding, <coughs> put it that way, okay? Well, we have this understanding that eventually we could well want to move. And that they're asking each other, well, where is it that you would like to go then? Because at the moment, things are just a little bit, but I will look after you. I'm here for you. But we have some decisions to make about future plans. OK, so there's a lot of plan of action seems to be taken. But because um, it feels like, well, if I, if you don't take the action, then I'm going to take the action. This child, this child here is like, well, if you don't take it, bruv, I'm going to take it off your hands. So it's like, well, I'll take them off your hands. I'll look after your children for you. Don't worry. This is like a nanny service as well, like a nanny. Okay, I'm just going to have to pause the video and then I'll come back and restart it again, Pisces. Give me a second. Okay, Pisces, I do apologise for the slight Blake, break. Blake, Blake, I'm also hearing Blake, Blake, uh, Blake, the name Blake. Okay, I think that's a child's name and someone's called them Blake. Okay, um... I'm also hearing fake, like uh, fake it, like someone's faking it. <laughs> someone's like faking this thing. It feels like, oh, I feel faint because I'm also hearing like faint. I feel slightly faint, but it feels like, what, are you faking it or are you being honest? It's like, are you honest or are you not? Because I feel like you're faking it. I don't know why I heard that. Like, are you faking this? Because it feels like, well, you know, I'm going to go on this trip. And it's like, yeah, of course. Yeah. And it's like, oh, are you sure? And it's like, yeah, well, it's like, mm, I don't know. I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> right? Because it feels like something is there of like, um, well, I've got stuff. <laughs> I've got, someone's got some stuff to do. It feels like, well, I've got things to do. And it's like, okay, but I'll believe it when I see it. So it's like, well, you know, I'll prove it then. Because they'll be like, well, I'll prove the fact that we can do this. And I'll prove that we can pull it together. And I'll prove that we can make it, okay? Because there's a song coming up of like, make it if we try or something. Try. It's like, if, well, if we first fail, if first you don't succeed, try, try again. Is what I'm hearing. Like, well, you know, everyone loves a winner. <laughs> and it's like, every God loves a trier. And it's like, well, I'll try. I'll try. It feels like, well, I'll try harder then. It feels like someone really wants your attention and you're giving it because it's like, well, I'll follow you wherever you go. It's like, well, I will follow you and I will be there by your side and I will help you out. So, um, because you're a very good person for me. A lot of this is a new person that you've just met. If not, it can be a client, but it's an energy of like, okay, well, I've got to make this decision about where I'm going to go. It's like, okay, well, but I need your help and I need your support in order to, to, to bring in the bring in the mustard or bring in the fire, like in order to bring in the fire, 
So I'm picking up fire water. I was like, well, in order to put this out, we need to add some fire. <laughs> but in order to put the fire out, we need to add some water. It's a bit of like mixing and blending. It's sort of like Sagittarian energy as well for a lot of you. It's like, well, okay, well, in order to, or Brenda, like blend. I mean, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Loads of messages just like a dump on my subconscious again. But um, me, I'm going on this diet, okay? Now, Jupiter and Mars and Venus, they've all been very present in the sky. Now, they are very, very, very rewarding uh, planets, okay? And that's why Pisces, they've said through, through uh, February, don't go and overspend and overindulge in things that you think that you know that you're out there thinking, oh, I just want this and I want that and wow, I'm up there with the Pisces retrograde and everything, and then the money is like, oh, I'll buy this and I'll buy that. Okay, now a lot of that is also what I'm hearing is to do with the diet. Okay, which is dietary needs because there's a, a needing energy of needing to pay attention to something. Okay, and I think some of that is coming through for what it is for me is because not only has that been very giving, but if you don't watch your weight, <laughs> okay, like me, okay, I've been piling on the pounds and eating over Christmas and over all that period. And like I said, Jupiter and Mars and Venus are very giving signs. And if what you want to do is eat, but you feel like you don't want to, but you're eating, then they'll say, oh, great, there you go, put on loads of pounds, <laughs> right? So it's pounds, money is still energy, pounds is in weight, it's still the same thing, okay? So I'm kind of like, this. that's falling on me, definitely, right? Everybody, not always, but um, still, there's a lot, okay, well, I'll wait then, let's just wait, let's just wait, see what happens. Okay, but some of this could be like a dietary, um, a dietary plan that you've got, so you've got the Queen of Swords now. Queen of Swords, there's a lot of things that are going on with uh, parenting skills, put it that way. This is an ex and also a future partner. There's a, a, an Aries that is, is really trying, to, trying their best to succeed. But there is also, this is coming across as a cross watcher that is an Aries that has Pisces in their chart. Okay, or an Aries that's cross watching that is dealing with a Pisces family member. Okay, that's what I said. When these come up, these can be children, but these can be people that they're dealing with. Okay, because if you're not dealing with an Aries, then there's an Aries that's watching it that has Pisces in the chart, right? This is how confusing it can be for <laughs> a medium, right? But there's a lot to do with like defacing. It's like, well, we're gonna have to make this decision because if not, I'm just about to like clock someone right because this is having to punch in for a clock okay i'm also picking up like a a punch in punch out like well if you don't i'm gonna knock you out <laughs> sorry <laughs> but like punch in punch out like a, a a clock of like uh someone that runs their own clock business wise okay well i run the clock i run the roost i run this thing okay and i'm running it and i'm running it the way that i see it fit it's oiled it's all ready to go let's go let's go let's go but it's kind of like, well, you know, I'm going to punch your clock in a minute if you get in my way, which can be a family dynamic that not all of you are going through. But trust me, if you're a Pisces that you don't go through family dynamics, please let me know how you get out of that one, because even I would like to know, because you can't, because <laughs> that's called your karma, right? So ever that experience is for all of you, it will be different. OK, but this person definitely wants to know something. OK, now, if you don't get on with someone, then there's a prying energy. So it's like, ah, well, I need to like find something out. <laughs> okay, well, I need to find something out. And it's like, <clears throat> hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Put the brakes on. What do you want to know? What is it that you want to know? <laughs> but you've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, you've got possible Libra there. But this could also be your boss. Okay, either of these could be your boss. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, but they could have that in their chart, air and fire, okay? That is the boss. You've got Leo, okay? Leo up in the house, but possible. Eight, okay? Something up in the house and something, some, something, someone's in the house. It's like, oh, you're in the house then? Yeah, I've just landed one. Oh, you got one. This is a contract of a house that someone's just got, is what they're saying. It's a bit like a full house. It's like jackpot. <laughs> but uh, I'm also hearing Charlie, the name Charlie. Charlie, or well, someone likes ch chocolate, <laughs> but uh, Charlie, 
Charlie. Charlie. Something to do with Charlie. It's like, Charlie? Yeah? Oh, Charlene? Someone is from Australia, right? And it's like from the land down under. Charlene, Scott and Charlene. Scott. Something to do with a Scott as well. Okay, I know that's from Australia. And I know you're saying, yeah, that's my neighbour. <laughs> that's my neighbour. Uh, <laughs> but um, definitely, these two people are looking for this answer for something. It's like, well, you know, I need an answer. So what are you going to say? Because I need you to give me an answer now. That's what this queen is saying. I need you to give me an answer now. What is it? It can also be a mother. Okay, well, I just need an answer. What do you want to do? You know, what do you want for tea? <laughs> what do you want? Because this could be a travel company as well, okay? And it can be, okay, well, here's the contract. You know, I need an answer. Would you like to take it on now or would you not? But I think it feels like it's going to be taken. I think you're going to take it or they're going to take it. Because it feels like it's going to come up very quick for you, uh, Pisces. And there's going to be a decision that you're going to need to make. And it can be obviously coming from a Queen of Wands, meaning they're going to talk to you about would you like this or would you not like this, okay? And you can either say yes or no. Because it's kind of like, well, do you want this? And it's like, well, it sounds good. So, wow, there's a good possibility that I might take it. Ace of Swords, okay? So you get a good opportunity there in order to speak to someone, okay, about future plans of travel, which is also companies of... Um, like cars and transportation anything to do with transportation is right there they're also traveling so that would be abroad all that sort of stuff right but there's a good opportunity that you can speak to this person okay because they are definitely looking for an answer and they are definitely this queen of wands is definitely looking for an answer of like yes or no because that's why the ace is there because a lot of you you wouldn't all be on the timeline, meaning that it's free will. It's a free will question that a lot of people are asking for a personal reading will ask free will questions. Will I ever find a job? Yeah, if you're looking for one, sure. But I can't tell you that if you're not looking for a job. You know, that kind of thing. They're free will questions. It's up to you. Those kind of things are. But there's a lot of like, well, it's free will. It's up to you. Like, it's there. It's a contract. And you can take that if you want to take it. So, you know, I'm offering it to you. So, you know, you can take that. There's advice there. And there's a lot of, you know, it's it's free for us in order to be able to take or leave. There's also, I'm hearing, like, um, a possible leave of absence. Like, OK, well, you can have a leave of absence. This is a doctor's as well. So a lot of you, if someone's ill... Because, like I said, I'm sure I picked up on some sort of, like, fair weather friend, which is appointments. Okay, and it's like, okay, well, I can give you a leave of absence. A lot of you might be asking your boss, if you have one, that you want a leave of absence. Okay, but I don't know where this is coming, because we have Easter coming up, which is... Oh, did you realise that children now, well, in the UK, actually get two and a half weeks off instead of two weeks for, for Easter holidays? Or two weeks and three days, I think? I don't know, but... Some of you could be asked to, like, a leave of absence. It's like, well, I, can I have a leave of absence and can I have, a, like, a loan? Some of you are seeking for a loan or you are the boss and someone's saying, well, look, can I have a leave of absence? Because they keep saying that, a leave of absence or leave it alone. Will you leave it alone? I just want a leave of absence. I just want a break. That's also what they're saying, a leave of absence. Also, uh, Abby, I'm picking up the name Abby. Abby? That would obviously be a woman, right? Um, Abby. Um, what else am I hearing through this time? I think a lot of you have just got like personal appearance and stuff that you're probably maintaining. Because a lot of maintenance, some of you could be a maintenance worker. Or like, well, I mean man or woman. But like a lot of maintenance, like someone is like high maintenance. <laughs> okay, Crosswatcher, I think it's coming from you, Aries. <laughs> but there's a lot of like high maintenance it's like well I've got high maintenance and I decide whether I want people or whether I don't so it depends on whether you're getting on well with an Aries or not you know because there's a lot of persuasion it's like well you know I am the person that makes the decisions and I am the single mother so if I'm the single mother if there's a guy looking for an Aries out there they could well be high maintenance <laughs> right but if not it's coming through, because uh, this is a bit like Lady Bouquet, Lady Bucket. 
<laughs> uh, absence. Thank you. That's where that's coming from. Uh, uh, what was her name in that TV show? Lady Bucket, but it was uh, absent, right? Absence. Absence. AdSense. Also AdSense of um, looking into AdSense. and Well, good luck with that one. <laughs> I don't really pay you a lot of money. <laughs> but AdSense. Okay. Uh, that's YouTube and all that kind of stuff. But looking into ads. Okay. Um, but I'm also picking up like this um, Hyacinth. That was it. Not AdSense. Hyacinth. 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 <laughs> it's like, oh, hello, Daphne. Yes. I just need to uh, put on my best frock first before I pick up the phone. It's like, oh, we'll just, I can't even see you, so you look good enough. <laughs> right. I don't know if any of you ever see that show, but uh, it used to really make me laugh. and say, like, oh, hello, Daphne, oh, hello. Oh, God, she does my head in. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, there's Lady Bucket. <laughs> so there's a lot of, like... I, this, I'm probably going to get in trouble from this from this person. But it's like I have standards and I have what I want. And it's like, well, sorry, the Pisces, I don't think this is coming across as you. I think this is coming across from an Aries mum. And they're like, well, you know, it's up to me. I've got choices and I've got options. So, Pisces, you need to make up your mind. If there is a Pisces indicative with an Aries that is... <laughs> I don't know, but there is someone that is very, very, they're saying very high maintenance, okay, I like to maintain balance in my life, I like to maintain cleanliness, hygiene, all of that stuff, there's a lot of high maintenance, and in order to keep all of that tickety-boo and all that keep going, it feels like, well, who are you then, boo, <laughs> who are you? It's like, oh, well, I'm a Pisces. Oh, are you now? Okay, well, let's talk. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk business. Some of this is coming across as, okay, well, let's just talk business then. I've just realised I've gone on for like 15 minutes for this one and 25 minutes for the other. So it could be a long reading, Pisces, but we are going to go on for the rest of your reading from the 1st to 15th, and then we are then going to look into our... Uh, Thoughts, feelings, and that kind of stuff. Okay, so it'll go a lot quicker when it's over there because it's literally just $5. So we'll change it up. Look at thoughts and feelings, that kind of stuff, when we get on the other side. Time is of essence with me. I'm a very busy person. So I'm trying to keep up and change things up for different readings. So you might witness that with the channel of just me just deciding just to do a different reading for a different sign. See what happens, okay? But obviously through Patreon and the link below, you get to join just for $5 per month. And then you can uh, watch all of your extended readings and stuff like that. Okay, when I get more clientele, I will probably just do uh, thoughts and feelings for the people that are over there. But I really don't know. I can't ever make up my mind, Pisces. I'm a fish. <laughs> I'm a fish. Okay, all right, guys. I will see you hopefully over on Patreon. You can also reach out for a, a personal reading from the link below. All right, guys, thanks.